Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the other time, we were celebrating 60 years of independence in this country, and uh, what emerged was that none of the East Africa presidents honored William Ruto's invitation as the guest of honor. No one came apart from the Ethiopian president who has no power an equivalent of Musalia Mudavad, the Prime Cabinet Secretary. No head of state and the government honored William Ruto's invitation. And we asked ourselves so many questions. Is it a Kali Akena Kwanza? Imearibu uusiano na ingizingine kwa kiwango gan. The foreign relation between Kenya and our neighbors is not good. We are in a limbo and that's a fact. To add injury, to add salt to the injury, the statement by Kipchumba Murkumen, a senior CS in William Ross government, in a comparison between governance in Kenya and Rwanda. Kipchumba in an interview, he was responding to why Kenya Kwanza government is delaying in implementing their plan. So, he cheekily used Rwanda to try and respond that in Rwanda they have uh, the president has a lot of power and therefore he made things and here and things work without the court stopping. In Amanisha Aje, Sasa, is Kitumu Mokome telling us that we should allow William Ruto to break the law while he's implementing his manifesto? <laughs> Let him just follow the law. That's why he has someone called Antony General. Now, the one statement from Kipchumba Murkomen is saying that Rwanda is not like Kenya. Rwanda is autocracy. That Kagame is ruling with the absolutism. Kagame is ruling with the absolute power. That Kagame is ruling with the totalitarianism. That Kagame is ruling with the dictatorship. That Kagame is ruling with the Despotism. That is what he mean. <laughs> Very sad. Because Kipchumba Murkomen is not a Rwandese. Rwanda is not like Kenya. You know, like the president said yesterday in the interview that he had with you, we must live with certain uh, expectations as a country uh, that comes with democracy. Rwanda is uh, autocracy, and there, whatever the president says is the law. Now, Mahali to Mefika, we have now been forced to this situation because we have people who have no any interest of governing our country. Now, we are in a situation whereby Raila Odinga has to come in and apologize for the mistakes. That this government is doing now is coming in as a state band, as a state man to try and apologize because we know in Rwanda and of course East Africa tuko na watu wazimio tuko na watu wa Kenya kwanza and so all Kenyans when Kipchumba Mnukome talk like this when Rwandis look at us another kusema how are watu so Raila has to come in. And this is what Raila Odinga is saying. My quote. Yesterday we opened another war with Rwanda through a cabinet secretary using interpret and, and diplomatic language against this friendly neighboring member of the East Africa community. The coarse language used against the great country and friendly people of Rwanda is most unfortunate. Rwanda is the size of Switzerland and is actually bigger than Singapore. It is not the size that make nation, but vision and leadership. Now you can hear the language, diplomatic language of a state man. To our, Rwanda, to our Rwandese brothers and sisters, we apologize on the sins of a regime intoxicated by power 
and corruption. Unfortunately, since Kenya Kwanza came to power, matters have taken a turn for worse. Kenyans realized that there is something terrible wrong with the relationship between us and our East African neighbors when we celebrated the significant milestone of 60 years since independence. And we talked about that. 60 years of independence. Shere kubwa yenye garam, ime garamikiwa kapakubwa kwa ushuru wa mananchi. Then none of head of government came to this country. Akakuwa tu ni ruto <laughs> mwenyewe. Shere gani uweze alika hata jirani ya kuja kusaidia kusherekea. Alafu unasema ni shere gani hiyo? That pointed to what Raila Odinga is talking about. Now, after this, Kipchumba now has been forced to come out with some weird clarification to what he mean. So, he has seen the danger. After making a mistake, now he's coming in to bring in other issues. There was another way Kipchumba Mokumeno would have delivered this message without necessarily painting Rwanda leadership as dictatorship there was a way he could do so. No matter what I say, sometimes it is not what you say, it is how you say it. <laughs> this is what Kipchuma Nukumen is now saying after creating that huge plan. When I said last night, for example, that our friends in the neighboring country in, in Rwanda, they make their decisions quick because their governance structure allows their president and their executive to make decisions. Now we are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers. Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. The remarks from road and transport CS kept to more comment over Rwanda governance model is regrettable. Kiptumba and William Ruto with their government, they have failed to nurture their relationship with the East Africa region. His statement, in fact, sparked controversy in the government and out of the government. What water wanajuliza huyu Kiptumba? And the vetting happened. There is something that the ODM chairman, John Bad, said. These people are not worth to be in office. But because Ruto has asked for them, we can as well give him. And they did so. Now you can see. When Ruto came to power, Uganda, they're running away from Kenya. They don't want to import the product using Kenya. Uhuru and Raila, when they came together, they tried to bring, to, to heal the, uh, the problem we had between Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya when John Pombe was in power. So that Kenyans would do their business freely and peacefully in Tanzania. They solved that problem. We have someone who is coming to bring all the problems back. South Sudan, they are not comfortable using Kenya now. South Sudan that has depended on Kenya for a very long time, they are not comfortable with Kenya. Now they are seeing a big brother in Tanzania. Everyone is looking up, Tanzan up to Tanzania as the big brother, but not Kenya. Kenya that has been there for a long time. Kenya that has had a very stable economy in East Africa. Sasa, everyone is disregarding Kenya. To me figure out. Imagine up to now, the CS for Foreign Affairs and his office has not come out to issue any clarification on Kipipo Murukumen statement. Tell me. Niambia sasa. 
Msalia Mudavadi na ofisi yake have not come out to talk about this issue. They are silent. <laughs> Sasa maneno kama haya yamfikie eh, mheshimiwa Paul Kagame. His Excellency the President of Rwanda. Unafikiria atachukulia kivipi? Na huyu ni senior person in government appointed by William Ruto. What do you expect Kagame to interpret that statement? <laughs> Tumepotea. Under William Ruto's leadership, Kenyans will have trouble staying in other countries and doing their business. They will have no peace. Because when Kagame will look at them and of course the Rwandis na wale wana support yeye wanakumbuka maneno ya Kipchumba Murkomen diplomatic relation and they have been failing from what go what was statement was same again you should remember the issue of a top in it when i Morocco and that other country Sarawi or what? They issue the statement, then after a short time they change another one. We will lose business and the Kenyans will have no peace working outside if these individuals are going to continue with this kind of behavior. And they are not regrettable. They don't regret what they say. It's comfortable for them. They are just right with that. Now Raila Odinga is coming in just because of Kenyans living abroad. Raila is more concerned about Kenyans staying outside and the other people like Rwanda staying in Kenya here. Because of that, that's why he's coming in to try and heal that wound to tell Kagame and his people that Kipriba Murkomen statement, it is not our position as the country. Now you see. You can see where we have the leader. Now what to wengine? You can see. You can see who is the father of this nation. The man who carried this country in his heart. The man who has an interest of a good Kenya. A father of the nation. As of now, you can't feel Ruto as the father of this country. You see Raila Odinga. You see Uhuru Kenyatta. You can remember Kibaki. And even more is better if you are comparing to Ruto. <laughs> Happened on Mali Tuko. Niambie tuko na serikali ya aina gani? Una imani na serikali ya aina hii? Yenye yuko na tabia ya aina hii ya kuharibu uhusiano mzuri na majirani wetu na nchi zingine just because they can issue any statement anywhere their mouth is running faster than their brain. So they speak then they think. Now he spoke. I'm a figure of Mombasa now he's thinking what did I say? These people must just 